بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آل صحبه جمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته and welcome to the Productive Ramadan online show Today's tip is about how to stay socially active during Ramadan If you think about Ramadan, sometimes we become too selfish We think about our own Ramadan, our own fasting, our own Quran recitation our own Taraweeh and Suhoor and we focus on ourselves, myself and I how about you make Ramadan a social aspect? How about you take Ramadan to another level and say, I'm going to go out and help people around me. I'm going to go out and show what Ramadan is to people around me. So here are three practical tips to help you stay socially active in Ramadan. The first tip is to involve your Muslim and non-Muslim colleagues at work with your Ramadan activities. Whether it's, for example, if you have Muslim colleagues, you tell them, hey, let's go and pray together in this certain mosque there's a beautiful recitation. Or if you're non-Muslim colleagues, tell them about Salah, or tell them about, about Ramadan, tell them about fasting, tell them about what you guys do in Ramadan. Maybe even force them and challenge them to Ramadan challenge. Hey, can you fast three days with us? I dare you to fast three days with us. So involve them and becomes a great opportunity for da'wah and telling people about Ramadan. Number two, sponsor a poor family in your area. Somebody whom you know. A lot of times what we do with charity, we go online and we just you know, give charity online or we just go to someone we know and just give them money and he takes care of it. How about you go and meet a poor family? You go somebody whom you know, maybe it's in your neighborhood, maybe you know, down the street, maybe somebody whom your friend recommends. You go and say, I'm going to sponsor you the whole Ramadan. I'm going to pay for your bills. I'm going to pay for your food. I'm going to pay for your iftars. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of you. Have a human connection in your charity. Don't just go and give it online or give it to random people. I'm not saying that's wrong, I'm saying it's, it's amazing if you can get in touch with people who you can see their smile, you can talk to them, see what they, how, how they face the situation, how they're living, and you sponsor them for at least the 30 days, if not more. Number three, get involved in your local masjid and local community. A lot of masajids, a lot of charity groups in Ramadan get very active. So volunteer, give your time. You might think, I'm, I'm working, it's very difficult, it's very busy. Give your time even for few minutes every single day. Say, I'm going to review your accounts, or I'm going to help you do this, or I'm going to distribute the food in the streets, or I'm going to do something. Give yourself some time to be socially active. Don't have a selfish Ramadan, have a selfless Ramadan where you give to other people and really involve those around you. I hope you enjoyed this show. This is the Production Ramadan online show. If you love these videos, press like, share, subscribe below or sign up to our mailing list and get these videos to your inbox daily.